I am going to go ahead and get started here this morning. Um, good morning, everyone, to another installment of our Ancillary Cross-Selling Wednesday. Um, we have Doug Brott with uh, Cigna with us today with uh, Cigna Supplemental. Um, he's going to go over some of uh, a few products of Cigna's uh, ancillary plans. Um, I think he may have mentioned a little bit about their Medicare supplements. Um, but, um, you know, as we start these off on these ancillary um, Wednesdays, you know, we always want to remember um, that, you know, ancillary and cross-selling needs to be one of the main, you know, has to, uh, start to be a main focus in what you're doing with your book of business and your, you know, new sales going forward. You know, we were fortunate this time around that CMS didn't really do anything really too strict towards us, but you never know what the next time may bring with CMS. So we have to be proactive and we have to spread our portfolio around and, you know, be diverse. And that way, when something, if something does come up, we have, you know, different things that we've already started and we already are being a part of. You know, like we always say, our, our, our motto is you don't, our clients don't know what they don't know unless we tell them. So we have to make sure that we let them know what we do, how complete of an agent we are, and we can show them cost of, cost effective ways to take care of their out of pocket costs because we do have an out of pocket healthcare crisis in, in this country. Um, whether it be under 65 or over 65 for our seniors, for their out of pocket costs, and for less than a dollar a day for a lot of situations. We can help take care of those costs. So it's just a matter of letting our clients know what what we do, how we can take care of a lot of those costs, and um, just makes us a better agent. Helps our clients out and it gives them a more of a cost effective, um, you know, a more of a, a easier way to, um, you know, uh, you know, afford things rather than having to be stuck with a thousand dollar bill all of a sudden and a lot more manageable. So, anyways, Doug, good morning. Uh, thank you for being our presenter today. We have Doug brought, like I said, with Cigna. And uh, Doug, again, thank you. And the floor is yours. Fantastic. Thank you, Joey. I uh, appreciate the opportunity to, uh, to to jump on this call and chat with you guys. Uh, you bring up so, so many valid points there on the uh, importance of cross sell. Um, not to mention, you know, it does put additional dollars into the pocket uh, of the agent. We're not philanthropists out there, so it's a nice way to kind of tap into additional income resources. So just bear with me a second. I'm going to get my screens all all lined up here so you guys have something to see. And can you confirm, anyone confirm they can see, uh, they can see my screen? Doug, not yet. I know I checked it out earlier and we saw it, but it hasn't. Yeah, that's, uh, all right, let's try that again here. Are, are, are we seeing? Are we seeing anything? <laughs> yep, we're good. You guys are seeing. Yeah, you're, you're seeing the. You're seeing yep. the Cigna screen. Exactly. Yeah, nice. Thank well, you. Let me minimize you guys, and then we'll uh, jump right into it. Gang, um, just want to quickly introduce myself. My name is Doug Brott, Regional Vice President with Cygnus Supplemental Benefits. Uh, got to say, got a tremendous amount of respect for what you guys do in the field every single day. I've walked way more than a mile in my shoes uh, doing it as well. So I love what we do every day. Uh, this is now my 30th year in the senior space uh, and the Medicare business, supplemental business as well. So uh, just to have a fantastic time sitting down and, and, and chatting with you guys as well as to some of the benefits here that we have at Cigna. Quick agenda. Let me move the slide here. Quick agenda. You know, we've already done the introductions. I want to talk to you folks all about why Cigna. Um, you know, we've got a household name. I, I do want to talk to you guys about that and how that can really kind of cement the sale uh, in the pivot and cross sell and the umbrella sales. There's some really great stuff there that we can say about Cigna. Um, we are super excited to introduce our Cigna short term care plan. We just came out with this policy. We rolled it out in 10 states as kind of our initial tranche. So we're going to talk to you a little bit about that. 
why I've got you guys as a captive audience. I want to talk to you about our Cigna Medicare Supplement Plan. Um, just having some fantastic results with Medicare Supplement thus far this year. So that's a testament to what all the agents are doing out there in the field. Joey had mentioned it uh, a couple times, but really the importance of the cross sell, right? We're going to talk about you know the pivoting cross sell into the products that we offer. Our portfolio really fits well with the cross sell solution. Um, and then want to talk to you guys about our DVH, our dental vision and hearing plan. One of the hottest products that we've rolled out in the market over the last 20 years uh, is our Cigna DVH plan. We've had a lot of success with that, and we're going to show you some of the differences of our product. And then we'll do a quick product overview and answer any questions that you might have. I know we got a smaller crowd, so we can probably entertain questions during the uh, during the presentation, or sure, we can wait. Whatever whatever makes most sense. So our mission at Cigna really to improve the health well-being, peace of mind of those who we serve by making healthcare simple, affordable, and predictable. And I think you guys are going to see that too in our plans. Our plans are simplistic. Uh, we like to say they are uh, affordable, they're predictable, and 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 their benefit um, their benefit focus. Um, so we really, really want our customers to stay healthier so they can get a whole lot more out of life. We know modern medicine people are living well into their 80s and into their 90s. I mean, I see people out there golfing well into their 90s and really enjoying life. So we want to make sure that we're, you know, we're, we're helping out the best we can. What's the value for you guys? What's in it for you when you're talking about Cigna? We know at the end of the day, right, we sell a piece of paper and a promise, right? That's what we do every single day. And a lot of times that promise goes into a drawer, it goes into a filing cabinet, shoot, some people put it in a safe deposit box, whatever it may be. But we want to make sure that we're going to be there for them uh, so that we can, you know, that we can, um, we can honor the promise that we gave or you gave as an agent when you signed that contract. We're an international recognized Cigna as a brand name, ranked number 13 on the Fortune uh, 500 list right? Our premiums are cost effective, but what's in it for you guys is we've got fast policy issue times with an average turnaround of about three to five days. Uh, that's even getting quicker and quicker. Uh, every day we're working on that. We pay our commissions daily. That's one nice thing. I'll tell you, it's a really nice thing being over here at Cigna. I spent a lot of time at Humana and, and, and even some time at United Healthcare. I have never once had one commission concern with any broker FMO partner uh, at Cigna. So that's always a nice thing that uh, that we can talk about. And then, folks, if you write down anything today, please, if you're going to write with Cigna, take the Agent Resource Center number down. This is so valuable. This is important. This is something that if I'm in the field, I'd have this really, this 877-454-0923, I'd have that loaded up in my phone and, and make sure that uh, make sure that you can, you know, and they can answer any questions that you may have. If there's anything that needs to be escalated, feel free to bring that to Joey's attention. He can surely run that up through me and we can make sure that we can get some answers for you if there's something that needs to be escalated. So what's to come with Cigna? We've got electric signature, real-time underwriting that we're really excited about. We're launching MedSup in more states, so we're refreshing MedSup in a lot of different states to maintain that high level of competitiveness that we want. We've got a more choice accident plans that are on the way. Uh, I just told you we're, we just launched our short-term care plan, so we've got some really, really exciting stuff on the horizon with Cigna that we're all super excited about. Um, I'm really trying to drive our broker community to the e-signature option, right? Uh, I, I say embrace this, embrace the technology. The more that the agent and the brokers embrace technology, it just becomes more seamless. When you're using the e-signature option, it really eliminates phone verification. Phone verification takes time. Uh, a lot of times it's two or three phone calls back and forth to try to get that PV done. So we're, we're really pushing towards the e-signature. We've got all sorts of additional training on signature for brokers on e-signature. So it's very simple uh, for you guys to get all the information needed on e-sig. So again, quick short-term care overview. I've got a tremendous amount of passion right here with short-term care. Um, this is a product when you think in terms, I, I cut my teeth in the long-term care business. So I think this is just a tremendous value here for the folks that really identify and know there's a need for this type of care, but maybe they just don't, they 
just can't maybe afford that full blown long term care policy. When I first got in the field, you know, almost 30 years ago, we had 50, 60 long term care companies to write with. Today, there's just a handful. I think I could probably count on one hand how many actually write traditional long term care anymore because it's not cost effective. It's it's not affordable for folks to carry. So short term care becomes, uh, I think, a more value add. Uh, our policy uh, is available for ages 18 to 89. So we really have two age bands, make it real simple, 18 to 50 and then 50 to 89. Those are our age bands with this product. Um, Guaranteed renewable for lifetime, no application fee. We love to do the spousal discount. So we're always trying to grasp as much as we possibly can with husband and wife. We know claims are a little more predictable when we have both husband and wife that are insured with the plan. Uh, it's good business for you as well. There's additional dollars made for, for the carrier, but also for you as the agent. And we wanna make sure that you're protecting that whole household. We've really simplified it with three plan options, our choice 100, our choice 200, and our choice Choice 300. Uh, of course, that's the, that's the daily benefit of how much you can offer to a customer. These plans do have inflation riders on them if you so, so choose. And then um, they would get right with the base plan, they're going to get that 100, 200, and 300 for facility care, whether it's assisted living or nursing home, and they'll get 50% of that for home care. Now you see there's additional riders, so you can put inflation protection, or you can do the home care booster, which brings that home care benefit right right up to that dollar amount that you, you predetermine. Um, you have benefit period options. So the benefit period is how long will we pay for that 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 $200 a day or whatever it is that you choose, we can do six months or a year. But think about it this way. Essentially, your customer has two buckets. If you choose a 360 day benefit period, they're going to get 360 day, days for home care and they get 360 days for facility care. So you can think of it in terms of two different buckets, your elimination periods, it's can first day coverage or you can do 20 days. I always caution people don't sell these plans based on having Medicare or MA or MedSup or any of that stuff actually paying for care because that only really covers skilled or intermediate care. The need for most folks for short-term care is going to be based on custodial care. That's the inability to perform activities of daily living, bathing, eating, dressing, toileting, transferring, and continence. No network requirements. No port. We don't coordinate benefits. I mean, this thing is paid directly to the insured unless specified otherwise. So it's, a, again, a very predictable plan for the folks that are out there. Um, our new product, again, we talked about it, has daily nursing facility and home care stipends. Um, we do have a bed reservation. So, for instance, if someone's in a facility and they need to go to the hospital for four, five, six days, we're going to reserve that bed up to 20 days so that when they come back, they can have that 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 same bed and they're not having to get, you know, shipped around to different facilities within the community. There's a great restoration of benefits feature in the product where if you use a portion of your benefit, you go 180 days free of care. At that point in time, your benefit will restore back to the original benefit that was chosen, whether that was the 180 days or the 360 days. Okay, um, transition to care. That's something that we we're, we're putting in there as well to make sure that these folks are transitioning properly, whether it's home care in a facility care, they've got all the access to the resources that are needed. And again, those riders that we discussed on the previous slide. So right now, these are the 10 states that we just launched. Um, we've got the North Carolina, Georgia, West Virginia, Illinois, Michigan, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, Nebraska. I'm sure we're talking to a lot of folks that are living in Texas. That's coming in our second, second tranche from what I understand, which should be out within the next 30 days, but we're just gonna be pushing these out. We've got this plan right now approved in 29 different states. So these are the states we've got them approved in. I don't foresee see that Northeast quadrant being being taken care of. We know Florida is very difficult with short term care and maybe so is California. So those are states that are are a little bit tougher to get these things approved. But we've applied uh, to all departments of insurance in all 50 states on that plan.
Okay, so we're super excited about short-term care. We know it fills a gap for your customers that are out there, especially those that have just Medicare Supplement or Medicare Advantage, or even for the younger folks that see the need for care. What I always say for folks with long-term care and short-term care, if you buy this plan at age 60 and you have it to your 85, it's cheaper than if you bought it at 75 and had it to your 85. So we want to make sure that you're getting younger folks engaged in these conversations. And I always say, just use a just ask campaign. Make sure that every person you speak to throughout the course of your week, you ask them whether about short-term or long-term care. All right. So got you as a captive audience. MedSup is a big part of what we do every day. We're super excited about where we are right now with Medicare Supplement. Um, gang, we've got the, I know it's the largest multi-policy household discount in the industry. So borrowing a line from Vegas, we've gone all in on our, our multi-policy household discount. Most states, it's 20% for husband and wife. So that's where the light bulb should go on. When you walk into a household, husband and wife, uh, we want to make sure that that pops up. Oh, that's a great opportunity for Cigna because we know we're going to be super competitive with that 20% household discount. Um, we're kind of taking a little bit from the Medicare Advantage space. We're offering the Cigna Health Rewards. So very similar to Medicare Advantage, they're going to get also all these additional rewards by being a member. We've got additional member discounts that we'll talk about. Um, I've got a very cool four-tier rating structure. So we're not just black and white. We do allow for the gray uh, as well from an underwriting standpoint. And of course, no application fee with a MedSup. Here's some examples of our discount. We've got a first one is a living with someone discount. So our living with someone discount, if they're over the age of 18 and they're living with somebody, we know those claims experiences are a little more predictable. At that case, we do want to offer them a discount that's going to be 6%. And then we have the multi-policy household, right? This is when more than one member of the household enrolls in the same Medicare supplement company or uh, 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 through an affiliate company with Cigna. We're going to offer a 20% spousal discount in all the states that allow us to do the 20%. And if they don't allow the 20%, then we do the max that's allowed in that state. So, gang, we want you guys to realize we're super, super competitive in the med sub space. Here's some of the advantages of our Cigna Healthy Rewards. Don't love selling on the basis of discounts and memberships and all that stuff. But I do want you guys to recognize that these are... Um, uh, in, a, in a sense, the more of these you can get that member engaged in, the more we kind of wrap our tentacles around them, right? We kind of give them a hug. With every one of these things you can get your customers engaged with, we're giving them another hug. And it's just harder for the competitor to come in the back door and say, well, we can save you 3 or $4 a month. But you know what? But we've got them engaged in, you know, the fitness plans, the virtual workouts. They're getting some, you know, nutritional home meals delivered with us, whatever it may be, the more of these they can engage in, the, the better it is for, for the customer to stay engaged with Cigna. And, and it's great for you because it's great for a retention standpoint as well. So here's some additional additional benefits. We've got a 24-hour health information line. This is one that we do see utilization up on. You know, a lot of seniors, especially with COVID coming off of COVID, we're now getting back to the doctor's offices. We're ha having maybe a little more surgeries. The claims experiences are much higher. People are apprehensive. And, and you know, they can contact these numbers just to get a little bit additional information on uh, what's going on with them. So, gang, this is kind of a rhetorical question, kind of why cross-sell? And I ask this uh, at all the in-person trainings I do, and I get a lot of different, you know, a lot, lot of different things on the importance of cross-sell. Um, yeah, we can increase our income. We know that, right? We can penetrate the household with additional product line. That's great for retention. Right, so we're increasing income, great for retention, additional product lines. We're covering gaps in the insurance portfolio of the consumer. So we're doing our due diligence as an insurance professional to make sure that they have proper coverage in place. Those are all great. Sounds great. I always say big reason to cross sell is to prevent 
the competition from coming in the back door, right? So why didn't Doug talk to you about the importance of short-term care? Didn't your current agent express the, the importance of having proper dental vision and hearing coverage in place? Oh, you mean he didn't talk to you about that? Isn't it important that you have proper coverage in place? And we want them to tell us, yeah, it's important that we have proper coverage in place. And that gives us our opportunity to jump in and, and cross sell these products that we have. So Joey talked about it earlier, and, and I agree with all that stuff. So here's some additional stats that you guys can utilize when you're out there in the field. Really the need for dental vision and hearing. So our DVH plan, and we kind of just start right there in the middle. 11 million Americans age 12 plus need vision, vision correction every year. 69% of Americans can't afford an unexpected bill of $1,000. So some of these supplemental, these ancillary products, they don't pay out a tremendous amount, but guess what? They're really covering the needs uh, of what our folks are looking for out there in the out there in the marketplace. About one in three adults skip necessary medical treatment due to cost. I I'm not saying I've done it before, but you know, hey, listen, I've got three boys. I've got a high deductible family plan offered by Cigna with a six thousand dollar deductible. If I've got a son that's got like a sniffle or whatever it may be, we're not running to the doctors like we used to, right? Because we're, we're always thinking of the cost associated with that. So you definitely want to make sure that you got proper coverage in place. Supplemental insurance can be really the missing piece to the puzzle, right? These plans partner great with MedSup policies. Uh, they partner with Medicare Advantage plans, under 65 plans. It really helps cover costs not covered by medical insurance. And I think that's sometimes the challenge that we have as an industry when we're talking to consumers, making sure that they understand what's the difference between a deductible, a copayment, and a and coinsurance. How can that impact us if we don't have proper coverage? coverages in place, right? Our plans are lump sum. Some benefit plans can be used for anything your client needs, right? So whether it's a cancer plan, they could use, you know, portions of that benefit to pay their mortgage, their bills, transportation to and from, right? Lodging meals, modification of the house, whatever it may be, these plans can be really the missing piece to that puzzle. So here's our DVH plan. This is the plan that we're super excited about, gang. Uh, again, this is the most successful um, plan that we've had, really the history uh, uh, from a rollout perspective that we've had in over 20 years, a real true testament to the benefits here, uh, but also to how we put this plan together. We enlisted some of the top dental partners that we have out there in the marketplace. I'm talking brokers that are selling 30, 40, 50 of these a month. We enlisted them into, a, into kind of a round circle and got them all together in one room and say, hey, help us build this plan. So the great thing about this, this is a plan built by agents for agents. Not too many organizations can say that, right? We're built by agents for agents. And I think that's super, super important when you're looking at our DVH plan. Our flexible choice uh, DVH, number one thing, if you think about this kind of in the three buckets, demand. DVH is the most requested supplemental health product in the marketplace today. Right, so what's the reach? DVH is available right now in 42 states and DC. We've got some projected 24 state launches planned for New Jersey, Rhode Island, and Washington. And then the rewards. Cigna offers market leading commissions to NMOs and agents on this product. I mean, it's just a great way for you guys to increase your income, in increase your reach to your customers, and really provide them the necessary uh, you know, product to fill that gap. So here's where we're at right now uh, with, with DVH. Um, our plans, again, to launch four states this year. Don't know why Virginia is so tough, so don't know if we're talking to anybody from Virginia. I spent 20 years in, in the state of Virginia. It's a tough, tough state from a Department of Insurance standpoint, so we're struggling a little bit there. I'm not sure we'll ever be in New York. We were excited to bring on California last year. We've got Florida, Texas. I mean, these are some really, really great states to sell our DVH plan.
So here's some benefits to the DBH plan. And I'm going to kind of tell you what's a little bit different than what our competition offers. First thing you're going to see up there is no application, no policy fee. That's pretty, pretty typical. We've got unisex, unit tobacco rates on this stuff. Our issue ages are, again, we break it down super, super simple for, for you guys. We've got two, um, two classes, 18 to 49, 50 to 89. This is a guaranteed renewable for life product. As long as they're paying their premiums, the policy renews. We don't give rate increases out based on utilization to individuals. If there's a rate increase in this plan, it's going to be increased to everybody in that block of business. Here's what I see here that separates us from a lot of the competition out there. We do see some of our competitors that have seen how successful we've been in this plan, upping their maximum coverage dollar amount to 5,000. So we like to say we were kind of the, the pioneers on the $5,000 policy max. And I'm going to show you guys some premium differences. It's not much different doing a $5,000 benefit versus a $1,500 benefit. Low deductible options, zero, 50, and 100. And then we stole something from the property and casualty space. We do offer an optional disappearing deductible as well. Um, no medical underwriting. We've got an extensive network that we utilize for this one, which is Carrington, uh, which is their max network. Uh, right now, I mean, 85,000 is what we're showing. I'm, I'm being told it's closer to 100,000 net, uh, network dentists that are in this, 35,000 vision providers, and 5,600 hearing locations. Gang, put your marketing hat on right now, right? What are we going to do every single day? Think about this as almost being like a pharmaceutical rep. If I'm you, I'm doing a dentist. Swarm. I'm identifying 10 to 15 dentists that are in my community that are part of this network. I'm stopping by, handing them a business card, a little leaflet, and a brochure on, on the Cigna plan saying, hey, my name is Doug Broad. I represent, represent Cigna. I'm here to you know just drop off some information. If you have folks that are coming into the office that don't have coverage, we'd love an opportunity to talk to them. Right. So if you do that over and over and over again with the same dentist over a 12 year a, a 12 month time period, I promise you. You're going to get 30, 40, 50 referrals doing it that way. Same thing with vision providers. Who's calling on vision for providers? I don't know any agents that do it. And same thing with the hearing locations. This gives you an opportunity to separate yourself from the competition. I always say top agents do what ordinary agents do, don't do, and they do it repeatedly, right? So if you want to be a top agent, you got to think a little bit outside the box on how to develop a marketing strategy uh, for your products. So here's our dental coverage by class, class one diagnostic preventative. Uh, we've got optional 100% coverage for year one, if you so choose. Um, otherwise, there's the uh, there's the the kind of the platform that we work on, year one, 60%, year four plus, uh, it's gonna be 90%, class two basic, same thing, class three major, um, you're getting year one at 0%, year two plus at 60%. We will go ahead and waive all waiting periods if you have prior coverage in place. So I'm going to say that again. We're going to waive the waiting periods if you have prior coverage in place. And it's important. I'm going to show you quickly, too, on an application how you can, how you can document that. So this is pretty standard. This is what we're selling. Gang, um, I said 20, this is our, our success from last year. Our ad, average annual premium is around 700 bucks for this plan. Uh, deductible options, the vast majority of what we sell is either gonna be first day cut, first dollar coverage at zero or a hundred dollar deductible. And then our coverage type, 81% of this is sold to an individual. Gang, I'd love to see us sell this more to that couple, right? That's where we have that spousal discount. We wanna make sure that's kind of our, that's kind of our, um, our, 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 our area that we want to focus on. So this gives you an idea of what we're selling and who we're selling it to. Um, and this gives you an idea kind of what our benefits are, right? So 74% of everything that we sell is going to be a $5,000 policy max, just because the premiums it, it's, I don't make light a premium dollar, but it's just so much, it's so little compared to let's say a 1500 or a 2000. So just examples of why. So this is essentially a PPO. Our DVH plan is a PPO, allows you to toggle both in and out of network. So the, the consumer can toggle in and out of network. We want to make sure that you're driving them as best you possibly can to a network provider, because when you do it a network provider, we've got all these pre-negotiated fees and rates with them. We'll have minimal out-of-pocket expense when you do that, as opposed to going to an out-of-network provider. So there's your example of a composite filling at 210 bucks out-of-pocket expense 
cents in network is going to be eleven dollars for that, or eleven dollars and ten cents compared to one hundred and ten ten cents if you go out of network. But they do have flexibility to go out of network if if they so desire. So I always point that out. Um, just some rate samples here, $1,500 policy max with $100 deductible. That same $100 is at thirty seven ninety three. So for about less than $7 a month, you can get the $5,000 deductible with the, I'm sorry, $5,000 policy max with $100 deductible. So there's your, you know, if you want to say sell the sizzle, not the steak, you're kind of bang for the buck. It's right there. Um, and I think the consumer will see the value. So I, I, I would always suggest kind of starting with the higher quote and kind of working down down, um, but I think they see the value when you do that. And this is a pretty typical 69-year-old male, pretty typical of a, of a customer that we would write. Quickly, too, just why I've got you here, just the, we use Express app. So, again, can't be any easier. This is on our Cigna for Brokers um, platform. So, Express app, the first thing you're going to do is choose the coverage type. Is it an individual, husband and wife, couple, whatever it may be? We choose our, our policy benefit, 2000 in this case. And then you choose whatever your deductible amount, and then it populates that premium for you. Very simple. Um, here's where you document the prior coverage in Express App. We wanna make sure that you're capturing that information so you can document that. Guess what, folks, a Medicare Advantage plan does count as prior coverage. If they've got dental uh, embedded into that MA plan, you just document the information right there, name a company and policy and policy number. And then here's where we set our policies, very similar to Medicare Advantage is always set for the first of the following month. Again, simple, predictable. We're not gonna entertain mid-month or the 27th or any of those dates. We always set it for the first of the following month. So if you write the plan now, it's gonna be effective for May 1st. All right, gang, and now I got you here. So we talked a little bit about our MedSup plan. We talked about our DVH plan that we're super excited about. I want to point out, you know, our cancer, heart attack, and stroke. This is a plan. I've got I've got one organization that they're, they're, they just sell a ton of this plan. It's got all sorts of optional riders on there, so you can really make this plan and tailor make it to where the customer feels comfortable with the benefit amount, whether it's five thousand or all the way up to seventy five thousand. You see our issue age there, eighteen to ninety nine. And those optional riders really help when you're developing uh, this plan for folks. Um, we've got a, a cancer treatment plan as well um, that's very, very popular out there in the in the uh, in the uh, in the uh, broker world. Our flexible choice hospital indemnity. We're actually rolling out a new one, so we're really aligning ourselves more with what the competition has. So this one right now is a little bit on the antiquated side. It's still very competitive from a premium standpoint. So uh, if you're if you're writing Medicare Advantage, and I know a lot of folks over uh, in, in your organization at Copeland write a lot of MA, this is a plan you'd be remiss not to be talking about hospital indemnity on every single call that you do. We've got accident treatment plan, and of course, we've got an individual whole life as well. So again, we're kind of, we're kind of, Got a few more slides here for you, but um, we're kind of getting into the millennium, right? When I first came over here to Cigna after I spent, you know, 13 years at Humana, I realized, you know, we're, we're a little behind the times. What can we do to get more relevant? So, you know, it's got to be with social media. Social media has got to be a line in the water for you, whether or not you, you utilize it for, for marketing uh, all the time. It's got to be that line in the water. You need three or four active uh, marketing, you know, ideas. One's got to be social media. You should be doing dentist swarms. You should be doing uh, maybe a, a BNI group or a networking group, having all these ideas so that you got opportunities or what I call at bats. I'm trying to increase my at bats by doing stuff like this. So we offer social media training at Cigna now. It's kind of one on one social media for dummies, if you want to call it that. We've got a quick start guide, we've got everything templated for you. So just great opportunity for you just kind of plug and play. Um, and you can contact, you can uh, enroll on this on Signa for Brokers. This is our contact list. Of course, you'll see Agent Resource Center right up there on the top. That's the one that, that you're going to utilize the most. We've got our phone verification hotlines. Gang, that's, I mean, take a picture of it if you if you, if you you so desire. But this is something that uh, comes in handy for a lot of folks that are writing Signa every single day. And they get real comfortable with our processes out there. 
And then we've got all sorts of things, right? So we do, we love to promote some trips. So we've got folks uh, next month that are going to be heading over to Monaco just based on production from the previous year. Uh, our next year's trips got to be domestic for, for some political reasons, but we're, we're going to stay domestic. We're going to Napa next year. So agents can earn these trips with a minimum of $300,000 in production credits with us. I've got agents that are making these trips just based on DVH pr uh, uh, premiums. So Matt, imagine that they're just doing the volume of DVH average premiums around 700 bucks. They're writing a lot of them, right? To get there. Uh, so if you you sprinkle in some med stuff, some short-term care. I mean, there's great opportunity. Every year, we got about 75 to 100 agents that 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 uh, qualify for this, uh, and and we love celebrating the success uh, with the agent. Um, this year, we're doing win incentives too, so we've got some uh, some additional dollars that you can earn with our plans for MedSup. Uh, we do uh, a thousand targeted leads direct mail campaign for every fourth application that you that uh, uh, that you write for underwritten Medicare supplements plan F G N N. So every four, you get a thousand piece. Uh, mail drop. You know, I've got agents writing 15, 20 of these a month. They're getting three, four, five thousand 5,000 leads dropped for them every single month uh, with our lead vendor. You can, you can identify the locations that you want to drop to the zip codes. You can pick, you know, you can pick the campaign. We, we subsidize, subsidize it. And then we do a hundred dollar med sub bonus for every application you write underwritten again for Medicare supplements plan F, G, or N. The incentive will be retroactive to the first application with a minimum of four applications per month, right? So we know some of our competitors are doing two and $300. It's not sustainable. I can trust you. I can trust me on that one. We feel that this is very sustainable. Folks are making a tremendous amount of money um, every single month with our bonus plan. And then we've got $25 for our SUP health product, minimum of five applications, and then another $25 for our, for our DVH plan. So we want you guys to get excited about our incentives, our trips, um, just great opportunities for us to celebrate your success. Uh, and again, um, I want to thank you guys for our partnership. I want to thank, you know, uh, Corner or Copeland for having me on the call today. Joey, thanks for, you know, I, I know this has been kind of a long time coming, but really appreciate, appreciate the opportunity to chat with you and the team. And I'm here to answer any questions that you have. And, you know, we can kind of take it from there. Awesome. Hey, thanks, Doug. I really appreciate it. Hey, uh, a couple of things. Um, you know, to go back to the um, the spousal discounts of twenty percent. I mean, that's amazing. Um, I mean, that's a um, you know, uh, is that on both spouses or is that just on one? No, it's on both spouses. Yes, yeah. so that makes us real relative. So a lot of times when agents are doing you, whether you whether you're using CSG, Sunfire, whatever the quoting mechanism is, mechanism is. We never want to be the cheapest guy in the block, right? So that's never, we don't ever want to be that guy. But when you're writing husband and wife, we do. So when you put that spousal discount in, whether you're using that third party vendor or you're just using our quote platform, you're going to see how super competitive we go from probably eight or nine right up to the top, one or two when you put that spousal discount in there. So that's a great fit for us. We're blowing the doors off a lot of the competition because of that yeah. spousal discount. Hey, Joey. Oh, Wonderful. Do it. And do it. Uh, again, um, on on the restoration of benefits on the short term care, will you uh, mention that again, please? No, you broke up on me a little bit there. So we talking benefit for the short term care, the hundred, yeah, on the restoration of benefits. On the restoration of benefits. Yeah, restoration of. The restoration of benefits is a one time utilization. So you can use it one time throughout the course of the policy. You got to go a period of 180 days free of care. So if you've used care for, let's say, four months, a hip replacement or just recovering from a stroke, whatever it may be, if you go a period of 180 days free of care or free of care, it restores back to the original benefit period you chose, whether that was a six month or whether that was a year. Thank you. Um, anybody else Hi. have any yeah, questions? So we, um, this is Denise. You know, um, can I ask one a question? Thing I like question? To... Okay. Um, so yes, on this for contracting, um, for I know you you mentioned the Medicare Advantage, and then but this is our Cigna is a separate contract for Medicare supplement. So if our agents are with a Medicare supplement, uh, they have access to all of these ancillary. Am I correct in saying that? 
Okay. You are absolutely. So it's two separate contracts, one for Medicare Advantage and one for what we call CSB, Cygnus Supplemental Benefits to include MedSup. Great thing with us is you don't have to do any of the, the, the AHIP or any of the additional certification with us, though our contracting is okay. very quick. Question for you, Doug. I know there's a production requirement to maintain that contract. Does the ancillary product count towards that? Because I do. It, have sure, it sure does. And, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll term for lack of production if there's no production at all, like in a 12 month time frame, just because it's, 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 it does cost us quite a bit of money to have folks contracted. So if there's lack of production, there's no production at all. At that point in time, it's, it's a term email that goes out, but I can promise you if there's something, if there's ever issues with that, you, you just escalate that up to me and we'll make sure that we take care of it. Because we have some that we, so it, it's 12 months they've had the contract not written any business. Because some of the states that you don't have Medicare Advantage in, um, yeah. and the brokers are heavy in the MA space, California, I'm, I'm speaking of California, right? They sure, uh, sure, There is no hospital sure. indemnity to write. There is very limited, I mean, the only is dental vision hearing, but um, right. they're they're mostly dealing with, seniors that are on MAPD and not MedSup. So we yep. got on the yep. contract hoping that we would eventually get some short-term care or something else to work with, but it doesn't look like we have anything. Yeah, and you know, Jan, I'm at the I'm at the sub. I, I go to the Southern Health Underwriters meeting every single year in Temecula. I can tell you that our, our DVH plan is huge out west. Um, one of my one of our top writers with DVH is actually in San Diego. I mean, <laughs> the volume that they do it's it's just unbelievable. <laughs> it's unbelievable. They're writing eighty to hundred apps a, a, a month with us. So and we are very sellable uh, in California. Our MedSup again. I, I always say, if, even though you got MA agents that are heavy MA. In order for them to really do their due diligence as an insurance professional, they got to do a needs analysis and doing a needs analysis, identifying what their primary concerns are. If we're trying to always squeeze that square peg into the round hole, that 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 has a tendency to backfire. So we want to make sure that those MA agents fully understand MedSup and that no, they can I get pivot. It. Trust me, I get it. I get it. I get it. You're, yeah. you're not yeah, I'm, trust I'm me, preaching I get to the it. choir, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> preaching to the choir. It's just so, taking a little bit longer. So, uh, you know, when they got the termination, they're like, Jan, we got it. And now you're terminating us. So, yeah. Yeah, I get, I got it. If, if, there, if there's a problem, just bring it to my attention. We'll make sure that, uh, you know, if, if there's potential with the agency, we'll, we'll definitely relook at it. Well, I love the, um, I love the fact that the, the electronic signature and uh, Signa pays daily. Um, those are all, you know, wonderful features to have easy features. You know, we, we want to make the agents, uh, make it simple for them, you know, give them the path of least resistance and uh, get them paid, you know, get them paid fast. Those are always Without very, uh, very important features. And I love that Cigna addressed all that. And, um, and team, like, like Doug said, you know, do the just ask campaign. You know, like I said, our, our, our agents don't, our clients don't know what they don't know unless we tell them. And like Doug said, just ask campaign, just ask them, let them tell, you no. don't assume. And, um, it could be a really great, uh, start to something that you could start talking about every single time. For sure, Joey, it's real corny and I, and I know it today, but 20 years ago, I didn't in my office. I had a, I had a little, uh, little, little, um, stand in my office with a $20 bill in there and says, if I don't ask you about long-term care during this meeting, this $20 bill is yours. And, you know, that was, that was, that was really a joke and people laughed at it, but it really gave me an opportunity to make sure that I did ask. Right. And I pivoted yep. into every single person I talked to, whether it's a Medicare advantage, med sup, whatever it is, and then you can pivot and cross sell into that product that you're, uh, you're trying to adapt in your everyday sales culture. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I appreciate it. Any other questions? If not, um, Doug, I appreciate it. Um, I love the products, the the suite of products that uh, Cigna has for us. We'll continue to um, promote, and uh, you know, we'll send the video out and get people to um, to keep looking at it. And um, you know, we'll we'll continue what we've got going on here, and hopefully expand and uh, and keep things moving in the right direction. 
Fantastic. Anything in the interim that I can do for you guys, you guys let me know. I'm a phone call or an email away and uh, looking forward to, you know, gaining some ground with you guys and anything I can do to help to get there. Thank you, thank guys, Doug. Appreciate it very much. Doug, thank you, you bet, again, guys. sir. I'll talk to you soon. You, right. Thanks. you bet. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks again. You Bye, welcome. buddy. You too.